Hey guys, welcome to the Knot of the Week. Today we are going to be continuing our DIY knot board display with the clove hitch. All right, so a couple things about the clove hitch first before we get into tying it. It works great to tie things up to like a post. So in the old days, people used to tie their horses up with a clove hitch to a hitching post, so to speak. So it's good in that regard as long as whatever's pulling against it is not going to move too much because it can, it can slip out of its tied position. So that's just something to kind of note. You want to find the working end first. And from the working end, there's two ways of tying this. There's a way of tying it in the middle of the rope, which we'll go over, and then at the end of a rope. So even though we're calling this the working end, it's simulating the end of a rope. So you're going to tie around the object. I'm using my hand as the post for this. I think it'll provide a better visual. So you're going to come around, across. So you kind of make an X right here, right? And then you come around the backside again. And where you just crossed making the X, you were going to come back in this way. So once you clean it up, what you get is kind of this pattern that looks like so. You'll have something that looks like an X or a slash across two ropes, one being your working end that's running here and one being your standing end that's running down this way. So the checkpoint on a clove hitch is that you can grab that slash line and just pull right up and it removes uh, the knot itself, which is really a hitch. However, let's try it one more time. So working end, around, cross, and then from the back, around again, and back up under that side here. I didn't give myself enough slack here, but there is the clove hitch once again, and checkpoint untied. So the way to do this in the middle of a rope, so now we have kind of a, a rope here, and we're going to make a bite. But I like to call this kind of an overhand bite, and I like to call this an underhand bite. So you may have the other terminology you've heard for this, but that's the way I kind of refer to it. It's really a loop, so you could call it an overhand loop too, but this is technically a bite in the rope, and I feel like you're kind of doing that, um, but you're doing it crossing itself. So that's how I refer to it. So overhand, underhand like this. What you're going to do is two overhand, so you're going to do one, and then you're going to come again to make two and that right side is going to cross underneath the left side and then if you pull this this way there is your clove hitch so one more time so over over right side goes under left side and that's what you slip over what you're tying onto tighten up and you still have that same pattern again so that is the clove hitch, a lot of different uses for it. Um, the way we are going to add this to the, the DIY knot board display is that I found this janky ship's wheel on Amazon. It's not the best, as you can see. It's not super concentric, so I might change it out at some point with something that looks better. However, we got this specifically for this knot, and this is what came. So obviously, it's made in China. And has some issues. But anyway, this is how we're going to display the clove hitch on our knot board. We're going to start tying off different hitches to the ship's wheel and have these spanning out like so. And we'll probably do something with this line, either tie on to it or, or something like that. But these, this is the, uh, that cotton rope that we have, and it is bound at the end with some shrink tubing, just like this. So we just cut a little bit off, use a lighter, and just heated that up and used some shrink tube. So that is what we are doing. Moving forward, so the next few knots will probably start tying around the ship's wheel. We may move to something else, but that's kind of the, the focal point of the knot board as we start building it is going to be a ship's wheel of some kind. Uh, since I was in the Navy, I want to keep this as a nautical theme, so that's kind of my idea of what we're going to do. Still haven't decided how we're going to mount things or what we're going to do as a background, but starting to slowly build this out and I'm trying not to rush it because I, I kind of have some interesting ideas along the way and I learned stuff from the comments too that you guys leave. So leave comments if you have some suggestions on the knot board and thank you very much. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Knot of the Week. Remember, if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so and check that little bell icon, ring the bell. Make sure you're getting our notifications so you know that when our new videos come out. Thanks again.